still just under three minutes to go until uh, this event uh, begins. We can tell you Clemson now has taken the lead on the women's side with 107 points. Florida State in second with 102, followed by NC State. But there are the competitors for the women's 400-meter hurdles, Golden and Chandler, Floyd and Nugent, and then Kendra Harrison, the one to watch out for. She will operate out of lane number five. Sage Watson out of Florida State, along with her teammate Marsha Ariel, and also Ama Larby out of Georgia Tech. Your competitors for the women's 400 meter hurdles final. And Kendra Harrison, we've seen quite a bit of her already, already a, a silver medalist today in an earlier event, eighth best time in the NCAA. She's also the defending champion in this event, looking to make it two in a row. Not very many repeat champions this year. We did see repeat champions on Thursday night here in Raleigh with Catherine White winning the women's 10,000 and also Brendan O'Neill winning the men's 10,000. But not too many repeat champions here in Raleigh here in 2013. And Harrison looking to repeat as the champ in the women's 400 meter hurdles and to help her team's cause as they look for another ACC championship. We can tell you that the high jump finishing up, Chris Cornegay Gober grabbing the bronze medal. John Hill for the University of Maryland losing and a jump off to Virginia Tech's Ronnie Black. And the first time that the Hokies have won the men's high jump, Ronnie Black, the gold medalist. And there you take a look at the medalists in the men's high jump here at the 2013 ACC Outdoor Track and Field Championships. So we await the start of the women's 400 meter hurdles, ACC champion Queen Harrison of Virginia Tech back in 2010 with a time of 54.66 seconds as the runners take their marks again. You'll want to watch out for Kendra Harrison in lane number five for Clemson as she looks to repeat as ACC champion. As they stand up the runners here before we begin the women's 400 meter hurdles. On your mark. The runners take their marks. Set. And they're off. It's a good start all the way around. Harrison, Nugent, and Watson will be a favorites to reach the podium here. But there you see Harrison. Starting to make her move there, going down the back stretch. Corey Floyd making a run of it for the University of North Carolina. Larby for Georgia Tech is surpassed by Harrison. Harrison still with the lead, coming on strong as Nugent of Virginia Tech. Nugent moving into the top four, and now she tries to get into the top three. Watson out of Florida State uh, in the mix as well for a podium finish. She moves uh, into second, but look at that lead by Kendra Harrison. Harrison with the advantage with three more hurdles, make it two more hurdles to go. Kendra Harrison heading for home. The race is on now for silver. It's Nugent from Virginia Tech in the silver medal position, but Watson trying to take silver away. It is Kendra Harrison coasting home to the gold medal. Watson with the silver. And it'll be Nugent with the bronze. Harrison at 56.58 seconds. Watson at 58.50. Nugent at 59.22. Larby off the podium at 1 minute .03 seconds. Followed by Chandler, Ariel, Floyd, and Golden. So Harrison established her dominance early on in this race. And there's a look at your champion. Kendra Harrison, and look at her go, just really explodes there past Ama Larby of Georgia Tech, 
And once she got that lead, she would never come close to relinquishing it. She's really the only one in the camera shot right there, and Harrison making it look easy. Two hurdles to go. Harrison with about a 10 meter lead. And she makes it look easy heading down the stretch. And Kendra Harrison, a repeat champion in the women's 400 meter hurdles. Only for every tenth of a second that she could get. And well deserved there for the Clemson University sophomore. So the women's triple jump has gone final. Janelle McLeod out of Georgia Tech has taken the gold in that department. We'll update you here on the women's team standings. If you take a look at the medalists uh, in the women's department, we actually have a tie right now uh, on the women's side. Georgia Tech, Wake Forest, Maryland, the medalists there in the women's triple jump, but Florida State and Clemson tied up at 117 points after 18 events scored on the women's side. NC State in third with 77, Duke in fourth with 68, North Carolina in fifth with 63, followed by Virginia in sixth with 60. But folks, coming up next, we'll have the men's 400 meter hurdles. That's coming up in six minutes as you continue to watch our coverage right here on the ACC Network.